All right, kids gearing up for yet another snow day as we brace for this nor'easter. And News 8's Tina Detail says all of these snow days are really starting to add up. We called around to a few school districts here in southeastern Connecticut and found that most of them have used between four and six snow days so far this year. Also, most of them don't have buffer days, so every snow day they use, they add another day onto the end of the year. At this point, New London students will be in school until June 9th. Four snow days here, six in Stonington. Tomorrow might be number seven. Um, we're looking at that very, very carefully. Dr. Van Riley spends the night before each storm talking to other superintendents and watching the weather. He knows a snow day means an interruption in testing and other activities. Tomorrow we have our middle school parent conferences, so we'd have to change all those. Some days, you know, the no need to be, you know, out of school all day long. You know, the roads are decent after a couple hours. By state law, school has to be out by June 30th. Stonington is now at June 18th. Another snow day could make it June 19th or take away a professional development day for teachers instead. It is a, it, it's a tough decision. You know, we really try to make the right call. It's always for, for safety. As this snow continues to pile up, so do the snow days. And one school district is in a bit of a dilemma, and that's because in Groton, they're already up to June 18th right now, and graduation is set for June 20th. So they really don't have much time to play with, and if there are more than three snow days, they may have to get creative. In New London, Tina Detell, News 8.